that had a very uh, anti-life and liberty aspect to it. I mean, a simple one to grab at right away is the culture of National Socialism, Nazi Germany. Another one would be the culture of Soviet Socialism, the Soviet Union. Another one would be the culture of North Korea, Korean Communism. Another would be the culture of Cuba, Communist Cuba. Very anti-life, very anti-liberty, very anti-constitutional republic under God, very much uh, uh, full of con controlism, to totalitarianism, not believing in the beauty of, of the First Amendment, freedom of religion, speech, press, the right to peaceably assemble. Not, not appreciating the Second Amendment to the Constitution that we have a right to bear arms to protect our life, our family, our property. Now, I bring up this Juneteenth. I'm going on this kind of little tangent here to kind of backstep and say, you know, bravo, Juneteenth. We, we stopped democratic racism and slavery in June 19th of 1865. That's a good thing. It's a good thing that we did. We, we helped set the captives free. We gave a year of jubilee, and, and blacks that were former slaves were putting up pictures of Abraham Lincoln, and they were voting Republican. They were becoming Republican uh, mayors and Republican congressmen and Republican senators and, and mayors, and they were getting involved in the political processes, and they were making a difference, and they were beginning to flourish. Long story short, the Democrats uh, stopped all that and created the evil, you know, the Jim Crow and all their tyrannical uh, uh, control freakism, racism, et cetera, et cetera. Thank you for watching The Jake Jacobs Show. If you want to see more, go to Jake Jacobs Show at Rumble, Jake Jacobs Show at Rumble, or hit the link below. And by the way, I love it when you make comments. In fact, a lot of times I like to read your comments live uh, during the show. And also, it helps a lot if you subscribe, so please subscribe. So until we meet again, happy trails to you.